While NASA is preparing to send a crew to the moon in 2025, it is already looking much, much further. The Artemis program is part of a more ambitious project, namely a manned mission to Mars. Oh yes, I promise that this video will be very interesting, because you will learn all the details of the new mission to Mars, what awaits astronomers and why Elon Musk is not waiting for the astronauts to return. Buckled up, subscribe, let's fly! The US Space Agency has already planned everything from a spacecraft that will make the trip to a pressurized rover that will house two crew members who will spend a full 30 days on the red planet. NASA has released a paper detailing 50 high-level goals to be achieved by future exploration missions in preparation for a trip to Mars. These goals fall into four main categories – transportation and habitat, lunar and Martian infrastructure, operational goals and scientific goals. The space agency is now inviting all interested parties to comment on these targets to substantiate their plans for exploration of the lunar and Martian over the next 20 years. With this approach, NASA expects to find potential gaps in the architecture. Two astronauts will spend a month on Mars. It is very important to emphasize that Mars, especially in the beginning, will not be a luxurious place. You may never return, Elon Musk said last month in an interview with Chris Anderson. A very rarefied, dusty atmosphere composed mostly of CO2 with an average temperature of minus 60 degrees Celsius, Mars does seem like a particularly inhospitable planet. But that's not enough to stop the billionaire who claimed that SpaceX will send the first humans to Mars in 2029. Wynne Shotwell, president and CEO of SpaceX, even stated recently on CNBC that SpaceX will be at least a decade ahead of NASA in landing astronauts on Mars. However, the American agency did not stand aside and seems to have thought through the consequences of such a mission. Fogel insists these are more demonstrations than missions to enable future generations to explore the solar system even further. For starters, the spacecraft, which will make a circular trip lasting about a year and a half, will use a hybrid rocket stage that combines chemical and electrical propulsion. A total of four cosmonauts are planned. Two will remain in orbit, while the other two will land on Mars. Several supplies and equipment had previously been brought to the planet by a lander as part of an unmanned mission. The astronauts will also find a vehicle there to leave the surface to join the rest of the crew in orbit. It is expected that the first Martians will spend up to 30 Earth days on the surface. If you add 18 months of travel to this, then in the end the mission should last less than two years. According to NASA, a 30-day stay is feasible and will solve several scientific problems. To do this, Gene Free talks about a pressurized rover that will serve as both a vehicle and a habitat. We assume that the crew will be immobilized and it will take us a long time to adapt to partial gravity, explains the intelligence systems expert. Indeed, in addition to the difficult conditions on this planet, its gravity is very weak – 3.711m to square feet, or one-third of the Earth's gravity. Astronauts will not immediately be able to explore the planet on food, and the vehicle will allow them to start the mission and collect data as quickly as possible. Clearly, future lunar missions will be critical to planning this massive journey. All methods and operations carried out on the Moon will provide an opportunity to identify unexpected difficulties and raise new questions that will allow NASA to fine-tune the conquest of Mars. The Artemis program consists of three missions, the first of which is unmanned, scheduled for late 2022. Test failures have delayed the launch date. This will be the first ever flight of the Heavy Space Launch System, Launch Vehicle and the Orion spacecraft, which will orbit the Moon for about 25 days. The main goal is to test the operation of both spacecraft. The next step, Artemis II, is a manned flight aboard Orion scheduled for May 2024. Finally, four astronauts will spend six and a half days on the Moon in 2025. This is where our mission for today ended. If you liked the video, mark yourself with a like and a comment, subscribe to my channel so I will understand that I'm making these videos for a reason. And join our communities of lovers of science, space and the unknown using the links in the description to stay up to date. Hugs.